Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of these panels which we can then obviously fill with color, etc. However, there's one thing that we've actually forgotten, and that is a body color. So at, the t at this point in time, we can fill all of these and all of this and all of this with different colors, etc., whatever you want to do. But the problem is, is that we don't have a body color. Okay, there's nothing here that we can add. And it's because we just haven't created that yet. We actually deleted it from the last template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a body color now, a body, col a body color layer now. And to do that, I'm gonna lock all of my layers except for my outline layer, okay? So I'm just gonna then gonna click, sorry, um, just drag, okay. I'm just gonna select by clicking and dragging over my outline layer. I'm then gonna go edit, copy. I'm then gonna go to my body color layer. Let's lock the outline layer. I'm just going to paste. I'm going to move that into position. In fact, no, first of all, I'm going to get rid of all of these little lines. Okay, so this, we don't need the seam, because this is already there with our outline layer. I'm just going to get rid of all of these, get rid of that. That's great. So next, I'm going to click on this and click on this, and then drag it back into position, which is fantastic. So now, if I fill that with color, we now have... Hang on. We now have a fill or a body color, which is looking fantastic. Um, there is one thing to mention though. Also, let's just remove the stroke width on this. We don't want any, we don't want any stroke, okay? We just want it to be a fill because we already used the outline layer to create that kind of light outline for us. There's one thing to mention though. Okay, so we have a hole in the back of our leggings here. It's part of the design. However, because we have this outline layer, we don't have that hole here. So the color is unfortunately there and it looks a bit odd. So I want to somehow create an empty space here. Now what I could do is I could go on my design layer and I could just click on this little element and I could just fill it. You see this? I could just fill it with white, which is fine and it will work. But I want to be a little bit more dynamic than that. So what I'm going to do is, instead of doing that, I'm going to go to my design layer. I'm going to click on this little item. I'm going to go edit, copy. I'm then going to go to my body layer or my body color layer, paste it in and then reposition it back where it used to be. And now, if I remove everything else apart from the body color layer details, you can see I have this item and this item. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm simply going to select both of these, right click, and then create, oh, it's not doing it, hang on. Let's just ungroup. I'm just gonna make sure they're all ungrouped completely. Object, ungroup, it's all ungrouped. Big selection tool, click and drag over both those elements. Right click, make compound path, that's what we're looking for. And when I make a compound path, you can see that it almost creates an object, I don't know what you'd call it, but essentially this is now my fill. This is outside of the area. Okay, that's a compound path and it makes it very, very handy when it comes to these little sections like holes. So if I put all this information back in, you can see that our block is no longer has any color in that area where it shouldn't, which is fantastic. So now we have created, let's say, areas of color. So we've got all these panels we can now start to color up and it all, you know, can make it look really pretty, etc. Um, we now want to start thinking about grouping. Because if I want to add color, for example, to this panel, let's just go for, I don't know, green, let's make them really disgusting. So if I want to add green here, I kind of want it to be the same on this piece, this piece, and this piece. And I don't want to keep having to select these each and every time. Oh God, here we go, there's this and this and this. Let's change that color. I want to do it in one go, almost instantly. So to do that, it's very simple. We're just going to select this piece once. Oops, sorry. Select it, select this panel, select this panel, select this panel, and then go Object, and then Group. So now, when I click on it, it selects all of them. And I can do this for all of these panels. Object, Group. Big Selection Tool. Let's just click on these, holding down the Shift key to queue up your selections. Object, Group. Oops, same with this we go object and then group. So now all I have to do is simply click on one and it selects all of them, which is great. I can even click, so if I click on this one then hold down the shift key to queue up my selection and then click on this one, I can then go object and then group. So I can make multiple groups. So it makes things much easier when it comes to recoloring. But at this point I just want to keep these separate. So now let's do the same for these ones. So I want these ones to all be grouped. Object, group. Um, Let's also do the same for these ones underneath. Now what I've done is I've dragged these off just so I can access these because I wouldn't be able to otherwise. So let's just click select, shift key, select, 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 object, group. I can then click and drag this back into position. My little waistband here, let's do the same. So select this, shift key, select, object, group. And same with the body. 
let's go object group so now it should be really easy to change my colors as we go okay makes sense right so let's do it let's now create a color palette so I'm going to create a brand new layer and I'll call this color palette layer and let's just put this I don't know put it at the top if you like makes a difference really and I'm gonna be really trendy well, it's not trendy but um, I'm just gonna draw some circles okay that's great let's keep that as one of them because essentially that is our little fill there although it looks a bit crap I need to redo that fill I'll show you after this um, I'm then just gonna oops let's create some circles sorry so I'll go to my circle tool I'm gonna click and drag hold down the shift key to you know keep it uh, to scale and constrain to those proportions. I'm then just going to click, um, I'm going to click on this, I'm going to hold down the Option key or the Alt key, I'm going to drag it up, hold down the Shift key to lock it to the vertical, like so. I'm going to hit Control D, 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 Command D on my keypad. And now let's fill this with some interesting colours. So we're quite bright at the moment. In fact, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to pick up this colour palette because it's nice and easy. So as you can see, I've picked some colours here just going to copy that. Let's just paste it in. That's great. And so now we can start playing around with adding colour. So for this one, what have I done? Uh, you can't see it. Okay, so I'm going to add... Let's go to this panel here. Let's go to the Big Selection tool. Let's click on these panels. I'm going to go to my Eyedropper tool. And what that does is that picks up the information. Wherever I pick it, it could be orange, red, white, it can be this, it can be that fill, it can be black, whatever you want. So let's go for yellow. Let's go to the next one. And let's go to the eyedropper tool, let's go orange. Let's go to the next one. Eyedropper tool, let's go that kind of other orange color. And then this one can be gray. And then these ones, the body color can be gray. I mean, you know, I'm just kind of making it up now. Um, let's have a look. This can be yellow, I guess. So you can see now that you can start to essentially create very quickly your designs or color them in very, very quickly and very effortlessly just simply by, you know, selecting the grouped panels and then obviously changing the colors, which is really, really cool and really handy. There's also another thing to mention. So let's do this, for example. Let's go to edit and then where is it? Artboards? I normally use shortcuts. Where are you? Object File, Document Setup. Okay, go to Document Setup in the File menu and go to Edit Artboard. And now, I'm just going to simply... Okay, we've got to make sure that all of our layers are unlocked here. I'm just going to click and drag this over here, and it'll take all of it with us. Next, I'm going to hold down the Alt key or Option key on my keyboard, click and drag, and we have a new one. Do it again. Click Option key or Alt key on your keyboard, hold it down. Hold down the Shift key so it locks as well to the uh, horizontal and just release it and we can do this as many times as we want and these are all individual A4 PDF pages essentially so these will print out as individual pages which is really handy so now for this one what we could do is we go right well I want this one to be let's say orange wow this is gonna be pretty disgusting in fact you know what no let's change the color palette completely let's take this let's copy that or let's make this for this color palette, we're going to go for, I don't know, this is going to be a blue, this is going to be like almost like a greeny kind of turquoise, that's a little bit too close. We've got like a green, maybe the yellow can stay, perhaps it can be a little bit sort of like more acidic. And then this can be a much lighter grey, for example. Just to give you an idea, I'm not seeing these great colours, I'm just kind of doing it. So, let's go for blue, let's go for this one to be green. Let's go for this one to be, there we go, that can be a lighter grey. This panel can be grey as well, and these panels can be grey also. Do you know what I mean? So you can now start to create whatever you want, essentially. I mean, this could be not white, this could be an even lighter grey, for example. Yeah, so it just gives you a way of playing with your designs. Um, once you've built them, you can then just start to create whatever you want very, very quickly and very easily and very effortlessly. And they actually print out quite nicely, and you can use them as presentations as well. You can even remove the template layers just by doing that, just simply by getting rid of it, um, which is really handy. Okay, there's also um, 
I'm going to show you a lineup of all these illustrations in a minute as well. But there's one thing I want to show you first of all, and be the reason why is because I can't stand this middle bit here. This is just not, that swatch is really badly put together. You can see they're all a little bit off and a bit odd. So I'm going to show you how to do this properly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to my circle tool. I'm going to get a line thickness of, let's say, 0 0.3. Make sure it's black. And I'm just going to draw, and this time I'm going to go for like a little, kind of like ellipse here. So I've drawn my little circle. Let's just do that. I'm going to draw my little circle like that. And then in a big selection tool, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hold down the Alt key or Option key on my keyboard, drag it off to the right hand side, hold down the Shift key so it locks to the horizontal axis. And I'm going to hit Control D, D, D. Next, I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to hold down the Option key and click and drag them down to be about there. Next, I'm going to get all of them together click and drag down, and then hit Control D, 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 D. I'm then going to grab this, go to my swatches palette, and I'm just going to, and also, you know what, I'm not going to have it black, I'm going to have it slightly charcoal, because black is quite intense, you can see it's quite dark here. I'm going to make it charcoal, and then I'm going to drag it into my swatches palette, and let's see if that's a better look. It might be, um oh, hang on. Always make sure you're, you're on the fill here. So over this side, just make sure you've got the fill selected when you add your swatch. Otherwise, it'll add it to the line art. Yeah, that's not very good either. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit. I'll do a little side tutorial on that, I think. But essentially, you get the idea. What is happening here is, um, so if we fill this once again, for a start, it's way too big. Let's reduce this down to be much smaller. There we go. Yeah, the reason why we're having problems is because at the moment it's tiling it like that. That's the problem. We need a little bit of space. We need like that much space between it. So what we want is to create a bounding box. That's what we do, of course. I'm going to create a bounding box like that. But I'm going to drop that edge. Oops. Just can drop that edge a little bit. Actually, let's move that down. Let's move that up. So it's about that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the outline because we don't want to see that box. And then for these, let's select all those. Let's not select the bounding box. For these, I'm going to place it on the inside rather than the outside. And that will should be a far better swatch. Let's have a look. Let's go to our swatches. And let's chuck that in. Let's see what happens. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, hang on. I put it in the uh, the line, that's why. Let's put it in the fill. Go to swatches. Boom. Yeah, so that's better. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. Uh, we could probably have a better job. Let's just let's pull this up a little bit, perhaps. But let's make it quite small. Let's try that one instead. Oops. Let's chuck that into our swatches palette. And let's try that one. Yeah, I mean, you can play with it, to be fair. You can do whatever you want to do. You can add, um, for example, you could do like little lines. Let's do some lines. Well, let's do little. Uh, I'm just having some fun now. I shouldn't really. Let's create little pluses. Could be quite interesting. I'm not sure what kind of fabric that would denote, but you know. Let's create a few of those. There we go. Let's grab this. Let's try that. I'm not going to put a bounding box around it because it should match really well. Yeah, it will. That's fine. Now let's just add that. Once again, we don't want it to be black. We want it to be like a, a nice charcoal. Let's go into the swatches palette. Okay, let's try that one. Honestly, you can add anything you want to this, as long as it's a repeating element. Oh, wrong one. Let's go to the fill. There we go. So there you've got like little... Um, you've got little like crosses. In fact, no, let's make them black. So you can do this all day. And I probably will. Okay, once again, let's try that again. 
so with black instead. There you go, that's something a little bit more interesting. So you can see you can kind of play around with it anyway. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, once you've built pretty much all of your designs, um, you can then put them into a lineup and you can actually start to change the colors across the lineup, uh, which is really fun and really interesting. So yeah.